Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. We have got another weekly grocery haul and meal plan for you guys. Now this week I decided to do a low spend. I gave myself a $75 budget and I was under, so I was super happy and I still got some prepper pantry items. Y'all know every time if I do a low spend, I still make sure to get five to $10 worth for my prepper pantry, especially right now. I said last week that the prices were going up they are up even more just within a week from me going because y'all know i go to the grocery every single week and i could not believe the prices could not believe i picked up an 18 count of eggs let me double check but 18 count of eggs yeah 251 two dollars and 51 cents that is outrageous i couldn't believe it I'm telling y'all, if you can <laughs> stock up, stock up because we're going to get to the point where we're all going to be eating rice and beans, beans and rice, bread sandwiches. <laughs> it's, I, I, I don't know. I'm in shock. Like, honestly, just the prices from this week from last week. Like, I know they're going up. I know we're in the middle of all this. And I've said this multiple times that it's not getting any better. And it's not. And just within the price change of last week from this week. It is crazy, crazy. If I had done my regular grocery haul, it probably would have been about $200 if I had got my normal stuff. Um, the ground beef, I've been trying to get it once a week, but it's still, it's up to $11 a pack now. So I hadn't been getting it. I've just been hoping that it goes on sale and waiting for it to go on sale. Um, I just can't. I'm telling y'all, I'm in, I'm in shock of just within the week's time of how much stuff has gone up. So like I said, if you can prep, stock up when you can, I um, highly recommend it. We gotta try to beat and get past this inflation because it is just so bad. If, like I said, if you can stock up, definitely stock up. Um, it's gonna be worth it. In the end, for your family, um, try to shop sales and all that stuff and do budget meals as much as you can. I have a budget meal playlist, I'll have it. <coughs> Sorry, I'll have it linked down below for you guys. And if you're new to the Prepper community, I will have that Prepper Pantry playlist as well. Highly recommend having food security with what's going on right now. So, we were able to do low spend because I have a fully stocked Prepper Pantry, everyday pantry, fridge, freezers, deep freeze, and all that. Um, so, I went to two stores. I went to Walmart and I went to Ruler Foods. At Ruler's, I spent $31.41. And at Walmart, I spent $36.15. So in total between both stores, that is $67.57. So I did really good. I stayed under my $45 budget. So if something happens and I need to go get something through the week in case I forgot, I have a little wiggle room where I can go get something if needed. Um, and technically, I guess I could have got a couple more things to put back in the prepper pantry. But like I said, with prices, I wasn't exactly sure um, on how much this was going to be. But let me get you turned around and I'll share everything that I got. Here is a overview of everything. We have got Ruler Foods on this side and Walmart over here. <laughs> we'll start at Ruler's first. I picked up, they had these um, wheat thins on clearance for 79 cents a piece. So I went ahead and picked up two of those. Those weren't on the list, but that's a really good deal. And I'll have one for now and put one in the prepper pantry. So y'all know summer's coming. Winston's about to be out of school. He's got a little over a month left of school. So I'm going to try to start grabbing things um, for us to have for the summer since he'll be home for all the meals. Um, <laughs> so I picked up four of these party pizzas, two cheese, two of the triple meat. And I also got some pepperoni and pizza rolls. I'm just going to put these straight in the deep freeze so that way he doesn't see them right now. Um, and then, like I said, I plan on just slowly getting stuff to have where it's not going to break my, you know, break the budget when we have to start buying more things for him being home for the summer. Y'all know he's a growing boy and he eats non-stop. So I got those two to put back in the deep freeze. Um, I got a, the cutest little thing of heavy cream. Is that not adorable? Um, got that. Needed some for a recipe, and that was the perfect size. I looked up and found this golden bag of potatoes 
for $1.79. They look fine to me. I needed some um, petite potatoes for a recipe, but I'm just going to cut those up and use those because these were cheaper, of course, than buying a little bag of potatoes, and I got way more. Um, so I was happy to find that. I got some more lemons. We have been missing our lemonade. <laughs> we all love it. I'm gonna make some more homemade lemonade. I got one tomato. I'm making a recipe. Luke and I don't like tomato, but I think Grover does. And so I bought a little one so he can have it on top of his. Got some baby carrots. Picked up some frozen corn. Got some sliced cheese. This is just what we're buying until I can get to Sam's Club. Um, got some Colby Jack Cubes. And then we have cheese in the freezer, but I didn't have any pizza style cheese. And that's one of the meals that's on the menu this week. So I picked up one bag of the pizza blend and one bag of the Italian style. Um, but other than that, we have enough cheese. I'm just going to pull what I have out of the freezer and use it. And then Prepper Pantry for a ruler stock up but I got it ruler. I picked up four more of these brown gravy mixes. Um, I used several over the weekend, so I just went ahead and replenished and bought a couple extra. So that's everything from Ruler Foods. And then from Walmart, our expensive eggs. <laughs> Goodness, I'm gonna have to, I don't know. We just have to buy extra, you know, cause we're giving some to Max. So, I may look into fresh eggs and see how much they are. I got a thing of the um, kielbasa. I have some in the freezer, but I couldn't remember how many I had, and I need two this week. So, I went ahead and picked up just one more. Um, I know for sure I have one in the deep freeze, but like I said, I couldn't remember. So, I picked up one. I got another thing of the turkey breast lunch meat. Um, got some razors. I personally use men's razors. Um, I, I don't know. I feel like they do so much better. It's a closer shave because they're made for your, their, for their face. Um, and so it's just such a better shave. So if you've never tried men's razors before, definitely give them a try. So I like to get the three blade ones, the Equate brand. I got four cans of Crescent Roll. I got two original and two of the flaky buttery. I got some Texas toast. I needed it for a recipe this week. I wanted, I was hoping that this Lewis brand had like a half pack. Cause y'all know, well, if you know, Lewis does like the half loaves of bread, but they just had a full one. Um, so I might do some like French toast or something with the other half. Cause I only need like six slices. So we'll use it. Got another loaf of the bunny bread. I picked up me some of this peach punch tea. Um, so I always keep sweet tea in the fridge and then y'all know I had been buying the Milo's um, peach tea and it's gone up. So I was like, I can buy this and then just add this to my sweet tea and it'll be the same and that's way cheaper. So that's what we did this week. <laughs> so I'll let y'all know if I like that combination, like the flavor of that peach punch with the sweet tea, see how it is. I'm sure it's going to be delicious. For my paper pantry stock up for Walmart, I picked up 12 cans of sliced carrots. We were completely out of carrots. I don't know how I let myself get down to zero. We had like one can, I think, though. Um, but we're out completely in the paper pantry. So I picked up a 12 count of them. They finally had Grover's drinks. And every video I get questions of who Grover is. Grover is my father-in-law. We moved into his house and then so he's living here with us till he finds something um and then we're gonna buy this house i get questions every single video who's grover who's grover grover is my father-in-law <laughs> so he um always asks for two of the mountain lightning and two of the um sans cola they have been out of these for like three weeks um they finally had them so i went ahead and picked up two of those luke asked for some dr pepper picked that up and then of course a case of water that's gone up as well so that is everything for this week let me get this put up and i will share the meal plan next okay here is the meal plan i haven't um printed off my meal planner sheet yet to put on the fridge but i do this and then i make my grocery list and then i do my final meal plan on on the fridge so everybody can see it but 
Um, y'all know that my meal planner sheets are available at my Etsy shop. That link's always in the description box. But I want to go ahead and get this done so I can get it edited and uploaded. So we're going to do Kentucky Hot Brown. It has been a long, long time since I've made that, and it is delicious. Um, it just sounds good. So I'm going to do that one day. And then Luke asked for homemade pizzas. So we had everything here but the cheese for that, so that worked out great. Um, we are going to do chicken, broccoli, mac and cheese. I have everything here for that. Um, for the Kentucky Hot Browns, all I had to get was um, one more pack of turkey. I have the rest in the freezer. And then I had to get the um, Texas toast. So I had everything mostly for that. Um, shrimp boil, this is actually going to be a sheet pan dinner. Uh, I'm going to do a separate video for sheet pan dinners coming up. I don't know if it'll be, it might be in April, it might be in May. I don't have my planner here to see how it falls. Um, but I'm going to do shrimp boil. I had everything here but the corn and the um, kielbasa. And then homemade hamburger helper. I always have everything here for that. I'll have that recipe linked down below for you guys. And I'll also have that recipe linked down below. The chicken, broccoli, mac, and cheese. And then um, I've got bacon in the freezer. And I have chicken tenders in the freezer. So we're going to do brown sugar chili chicken. Um, one night and some sides. And then I left one night for leftovers. Y'all know we don't follow like the day to day. We just kind of pick and choose what sounds good what we want that night but I think that's it that's the game plan what we got going on for this week delicious make week of meals um I guess I'm kind of coming out of my recipe funk maybe um and then like I said most of these are you know shop from home meals except for just a couple ingredients so the joys of having stock but that is everything I hope you guys enjoy this grocery haul and meal plan and I'll see you in the next one bye guys